The following program has been classified M. It is recommended for mature audiences. It contains adult themes, occasional coarse language and sexual references. I never knew what I wanted to pursue as a kid. Finishing year 12, the world looked bigger than it ever did before. It's embedded in my forehead. I wasn't ready to be set off on this wall. Yet out on the door, step fragile as a wall. Vet force, vet every single page of the employment section. I don't want to work, don't want to work for the rest of my life. Joking, mate. This little bike is not going to jump a van. A hundred bucks says it's impossible, mate. All right. Tomorrow after work, I'll be here with my brother. You just bring your money. Boys, look, look. Hey! <laughs> ah, shit! Don't you say anything? Oh, I can hear it, Georgie. It's up there. Keep on looking, bro. I can hear the pigeon, but I can't uh, see the pigeon. If you can catch that pigeon, bro, the boss will give you the Special Workers Award, George. I can hear it, but I can't see it. Um, I was looking for Keith Warren. Hey, Georgie boy, your missus just walked in, bro. Am I getting a missus? Stop being such a wimp. The company's been taken over, and you've got to start moving up. But I'm happy in customer service. <sighs> okay, let's see. Uh, you worked at McDonald's in Dubbo, part time. Yes, and, and I've just moved here. And Keith, we're out of toilet paper again. Jan, do you mind? I'm doing an interview. Well, love, if you get the job, don't forget to bring your own bloody toilet paper. <sighs> Sorry about that. Now you were saying you're from. Uh... Excuse me, Keith. David told me to tell you that he emailed you the picture of the girl with the big... Anthony! I'm doing an interview. Get out! Sorry, Laura. Actually, it's Leanne. Is it? Keith! One of those fucking Maoris has smashed my car with a fucking forklift! Uh, can you start tomorrow? I'm Amanda Doyle, the new regional manager of Swift and Shift. The courier business should be simple, really. You, the client, phones our call centre and tells us what's going where. The radio room should organise a competent driver to take your package from A to B on time. It seems so simple. So why does Keith's depot always manage to stuff it up? Hello, Swift and Shift courier. Hey, love, you can sit here. Now, I'll show you how the system works, but before we do that, we should do some introductions. I'm Jan. Hi. That's Oliver over there. How large is it? That's Doreen. She's married to Renzo in customer service. You have a thick accent. And that's I Clarissa. Hi. And that's Elle. Hello, Swift and Shift couriers. Hello, it's, it's Mario Fennick here from the National Rugby League. Oh, uh, hi. Yep. One of your couriers picked up the Telstra Premiership trophy and I'm a little worried. He couldn't speak English. Have you got an idea where the trophy's going? S sorry? Big trophy. Can you speak slowly? He couldn't even pick the trophy up. <laughs> Can you lift it up? Check it's the Premiership it, trophy it, in there, mate. What are you doing? Check it, check it out. What the fuck inside? Can you assure me that the trophy's going to get there? Maybe I'll just put you through to customer service. Hey, Keith, bro. The woman from head office has just shown up, cuzzy. I was just looking at your bag. Looks quite full. What have you got in there? Um, yesterday Jan told me to bring toilet paper. <laughs> oh, fucking BYO toilet paper. Oh, God. That's right. Yesterday, I was only joking, love. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm in there with the new regional manager. And if you'd all like to keep your jobs, I suggest you get back to work. Thank you. Don't worry about him, love. The company just got taken over and he's got a new boss. He's probably a bit shaky because he hasn't been out the back for his little drink yet. 
All right, now I've been going through some of the files of your drivers here, and Keith, I have a couple of questions. Okay, where do you want to start? Well, let's start with this one, shall we? Sol. Solly. He pronounces it Solly. Well, there is no surname. There are no driver's licence details anywhere in this file. Look, it's probably just a clerical oversight. As far as I'm concerned, he's a terrific driver. Hello, face. I've got a big problem. Hey, hello, Solly. What's the problem, bro? Some stupid taxi driver is trying to crash into my car. What's happened with the taxi driver? You stupid taxi driver! You cut me off! Hey, Sully! It's me! Your cousin Julia! For some more! Come for double the KFC, let's pull him up! Okay! I rest you! Come on! Abdullah Azar? Abdul, yes. Nice kid. Well, it says here there have been a few complaints. Uh, regarding his hygiene and the refusal to deliver goods. On the point of hygiene, I have personally told him to use a deodorant because he was getting a little woofy. What does refusal to deliver mean? Well, he refuses to handle alcohol and pork. I can't touch this. What's wrong with you? It's plastic. It's against my religion. What are you doing? You stink. Bill Beasley says here he was born in 1937. Yeah, well, he drives with his third wife, Jennifer, and he's been with the company since the 70s. How are his eyes? Oh, 100%. Are you bloody blind? You're driving on the footpath. We are driving on the freeway, aren't we? Tell her about George. Oh, he's that big, weird-looking guy. I got the pigeon. The only reason he even works here is because he's, like, related to the new boss of the company. Operations manager Keith Warren speaking. Hello, Keith. It's Jonathan, the new MD. My wife's nephew is going to be starting with the company tomorrow, right? So look after him. I'm Keith. He's a little slow. Who's slow? If you smell something weird, it could be his shoes. We heard he pisses on his feet. Hello, everybody. Hello, Swift and Shift couriers. Yeah, uh, g'day. Uh, do you guys deliver artwork? Hey, everyone. Abdul reckons Mike's going to jump the minivan on a pocket bike after work. <laughs> He's just bloody stupid. Hello, everybody. Peace off, George. I have to see Keith. George, you can't go in there. He's busy with the lady from head office, bro. Your truck driver, Agro Smith. Yes. Is that his real name? Well, I believe that he changed it by deed poll. Mm. His real name was Aaron, but he prefers to be called Agro. Does he? Yes. Keith, mate. Here's your pallet of scotch, mate. Kept that one aside for you. Grab the bottle for yourself. No worries. So, should I fill in a uh, missing or damaged report? No, mate. I'll look after the paperwork. Sweet. Nice work, Aaron. That's Agro, mate. Agro. Mike and 